Good morning. It's Wednesday, August 7th. And today I want to talk about the state of Louisiana. Now, I've been to Louisiana a couple of times, and it's a very pleasant place to uh, visit. And there are many things that you can do there that are not usually seen in other states. But I want to talk to you about the law that Louisiana recently passed, which is requiring all public schools and colleges to display the Ten Commandments in classrooms. And here are some of the key points about the law. This law will take place in all classrooms starting from kindergarten garden to collegiate level, and the classrooms must have a poster featuring the Ten Commandments. And in this article, there were samples of some of these Ten Commandments, and I included some of those samples in the beginning of this little talk. And the poster should be easily readable and no smaller than 11 by 14 inches. And we saw sample posters that were put out by the Louis Louisiana Attorney General Liz Morrow, and she shared these various samples that tie the modern culture into the state's law. The posters include references to Martin Luther King, Moses, and there's even some satirical lyrics from the musical Hamilton. Now, when the schools comply with the law, they must display the Ten Commandments alongside a context statement. I don't know that's necessary. The context is the context, and the Ten Commandments is the Ten Commandments, and we shouldn't have to explain them to anybody. They are self-explanatory. Now, there are many parents who don't believe that the Ten Commandments should be displayed in the public school classrooms in the state of Louisiana. So the governor, Blay, you know, blithely said, tell your children not to look at them. That'll be easy. But that move did not satisfy these parents. And it prompted the parents who are Jewish, Christian, Unitarian, Universalist, and non-religious to sue the state in federal court. They argue that the legislation substantially interferes with and burdens their First Amendment right to raise their children with whatever religious doctrine they want. So the parents are claiming that by hanging the Ten Commandments in in every classroom in the state of Louisiana, that will affect their children's upbringing, upbringing in other religious faiths that may not be preferred in Louisiana. Who knows why this thing is so foolish? Now, this is not the first time that the Ten Commandments hanging in the public schools was an issue, because back in 1980, in Kentucky, a similar situation arose. And in that situation, the Supreme Court ruled against Kentucky by a 5-4 to decision. But that was a different Supreme Court. Do you believe that this Supreme Court will rule against Louisiana? I don't think so. That's how times have changed in the last 40-some-odd years. So this will be an interesting thing to see going forward. Ruling 
by the state won't go into effect until sometime maybe in November or later. So the lawsuit of the people who don't want these posters in their classrooms will be decided at that point in time. And meanwhile, there have been samples of the posters that were created. And one of the posters is entitled The House of Representative and the Lawgivers. And it features the Ten Commandments between the images of Moses the Lawgiver and a photo of Speaker of the House Mike Johnson, who represents Louisiana. Another post that features a photo of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the, the liberal Supreme Court Justice who died in 2020, as well as her quote, praising the world's four great documents, which included the Ten Commandments, the Magna Carta, the English Bill of Rights, and the Declaration of Independence. Independent. So that quote that they are using by Ruth Bader Ginsburg came from an editorial that she wrote for her school paper when she was 13 years old. And that paper that she wrote was in favor of the UN's charter, the United Nations charter. So Ginsburg was quite quite a bright woman starting early in her life towards a career as a Supreme Court Justice. So in my mind, I don't view the Ten Commandments as a religious document, and I wouldn't have any problem if they were on display in all the classrooms in New York also. That, to me, would not be a big deal. But I don't know why these parents are suing and crazy and worrying that their children will be influenced to change their religion if the Ten Commandments is hanging in a classroom. And I bet you if you ask everybody on the street what religious implications are implied in the Ten Commandments that anybody would even think about that. I don't think there's any people that really, really study the Ten Commandments and believe that they have religious connotations. So in any event, that's what's going on in Louisiana right now. And I will leave you with that. Have a great day. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.